I was in rehab for a month. It was the most boringest place you could ever be. Oh god. Yeah. I was lucky. The place I went to was like the best like like child like surgeon place in like this like the like the east coast. And it's like it's only like two hours away from me, so whenever I had to get my yeah, surgeries or so But you gotta realize like Canada is like all yeah. funded, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's a little different. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You guys like Pay, it, like the insurance company kind of pays for it, so. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, but yeah, like this, like it was kind of fun whenever I did it. Like they, like the place said like wheeze and stuff, so like I got to like have like rehab, like playing playing games and stuff, which is pretty cool. Like the rehab I was in, like you know you can't have a TV unless you actually pay for it. You can't have a phone unless you actually pay for it. Oh, well, like uh, in the room. Like, and you're not in a room by yourself, you're in a room with, yeah. like, two or three other different people, right? So. Yeah, yeah. But, like, whenever, like, add, like, directly after the surgery, like, it's like there's only, like, I think two people to a room, so, like, and the guy I was with was pretty cool. He was, he was this guy, he, he had cerebral palsy, but it affected his leg. Yeah. And, like, we were watching TV, and, like, we were, like, like, um, like, like, five feet away from each other so like we were watching like the same show on the TV the TV like it hung over your head it was really weird mm. like you can move it around it was weird but yeah we were like watching the same shows we were pretty cool friends though so yeah when I was in rehab there was this guy who uh, something happening with the skateboard and anyway he ended up being a cripple uh-huh and he, he was only like 14 13 like he, he was very like he was a teenager, right? So yeah, yeah. Like seeing that, I was like, "Oh my God!" It's like, I, I feel so bad. You know, I'm able to walk and do these things, mm -hmm. and you really take that stuff for granted when you can really do it. Yeah. So. Totally. Like until something actually happens, you, you don't know how much you take things for granted. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I took like talking and walking normally for granted. It's just, yep. When I had my brain tumor, it's like you don't take that for granted no more because yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to learn everything all over again. It's, it's almost like being reborn. It's, it's, it's kind of silly, but it, yeah, until yeah, you I really agree. experience it. No. Every, everybody has their different experiences, I guess. But. Oh, yeah. But just sometimes, you, just, you know, you just take so much for granted. Do 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 do